Well, hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Vern's Misadventures. So this one we're going to get back to the K-Pro. I'm going to see if we can fix this broken key stem on this keyboard here. So the first thing we got to do, of course, to do that is to get it out of the housing. Just some screws that go around the perimeter and once those are out you can easiest way I found was to turn it upside down and just let the top fall out, fall out of it like this there we go so this was a mistake here I should have left that in there when I pulled it out it cracked it and it later fell apart so learn from me do yours differently There's the keyboard. All right, well, turns out this is a full mechanical keyboard, which I did not expect. I was thinking it was going to be a foam and foil style. So as such, the first thing we're going to have to do is desolder the key switch that we're going to try to fix. So we'll get after that. So I got this Gorilla Glue. It's a shame that it got broken off like that. And while we're at it, we'll get the top off the K-Pro itself. There's something rattling around in there. A screw or something. I want to see if I can find that. And then I want to check to see if it has reefas and which reefas they are. Alright, so we're, we are ready. So let's put just a little bit of fresh solder here. All right. Um, Kim, yes. Looks like somebody bent that down to put it together, which is not uncommon. I think we got all the solder off it. Okay. Now it looks like we're we're good to go there. Big thing will be to take it out of there. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, a whole lot of what we planned here is working out according to plan. Here, let's get this keyboard out of our way because we are done with all that, I think. So the plan here is to try to glue the switch with it kind of upside down so that the glue cannot run down into the switch and ruin it for us. We'll see how this works out. Stick it together here. Look at that. Well, it's on there. Probably have to come back behind and file a little bit so that it's nice and smooth. Let me put this out of the way and we'll uh, put the glue away. So this is a, a really nice mechanical keyboard.
cooled off. It is. It's all cooled off. We can put this back in here so it won't get lost. Okay, let me set this over here. Looks like got ten screws to get the top off this thing. Figure out what's rattling around in there. something it didn't come from nowhere there it is some more that one like there was all right is that all the loose screws hopefully all right yeah there's definitely a reefa down in there um main board off here. It's only a couple of connectors. So this one has the lettering towards the inside of the board. Red wire towards the front of the machine. This one red towards the front of the machine. Even though it's in the middle it's more towards the front. So, these guys go to the front. Screws with the washers go to the front of the machine. So, we got a couple of screws here that mount the, the motherboard. Let's run there. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I think that's probably where that screw fell out. Need a nut driver for. No, not that one. This one? No, not that one. This one? This one. This one indeed. Okay. This one. Flat laser driver, or screws. Hmm, something's holding it. Oh, there's a the connector here. Yeah, the connector for the back, the lettering goes to the outside of the board, or the outside of the machine for that matter. There she is. One motherboard. So yeah, it definitely has a couple reefers in here. Dead gummit. I wonder if I have the values. Let's see if we can get it up where we can get a look at it. Not tearing anything up too badly. Alright, so we have a couple of Y caps in there in the power supply. I do want to get those replace they are reefers let's see we'll set this back like this so we can get to the screws we'll hold it and we'll get rid of these reefers before they can pop while we're using it which would suck um let's see 
Actually, before we take any of those out, I wanted to get this connector off of here if I can. Well, is, is that one big connector? It is. I'll just clip those. Supply the caps look pretty good. No lumps, no bulges. Hmm. Yeah, they don't look bad. So let us move this motherboard. And yeah, there's this 2200 microfarad or 2200 pike picofarad, excuse me. 250 volts, so those are exactly the same as the ones I have. Alright. Now, to identify where the reefers go. Yeah. Yeah, there's the reefer caps. There. These four points right here. Of course, I don't have any kind of marker or anything. So. These four right here. I'm sure glad I put the desoldering tool away. Not like we'll need that, right? This is the area we're working in inside the box. And here are the reefs. They don't look to have cracks, surprisingly. All right, so we'll replace those reefs with something in the nylon. Okay. Oh. They don't look to be in bad shape, neither one of them. But we'll replace them with a new one anyway. Yeah, so these are 2200 pico ferry, 250 volt Y caps. Hey, 
made a failed attempt at gluing the stem back on here. I got it glued on there. I even put a keycap on. The problem was, I put the keycap on upside down when I went to take it off to correct the problem. It broke back, it broke off again. So super gluing it together was not the answer. So while I had it apart, I made the observation that the key stems or, or the key switches rather are very similar to what I remembered being on my Apple II. So I pulled the keycap off the Apple IIe and uh, lo and behold it actually fit on the uh, the keycap fit the switch. So what I did was I ordered a key switch for an Apple II but the difference is on the Apple IIe it has used the long stem so I had to find the short stem ones and this time so this time I bought the switches and it should work we'll see I don't know but at any rate first thing we got to do is get this apart and I've already got the desoldering tool hot uh, facing the keyboard this red wire will be to our right red to the right okay and I'm going to take it apart this way because the last time I took the jack out of the housing and I broke it. I had to glue it back together. And I'd rather not repeat that. Let me just lift that right off of there. Oh man, this came out of there. How about that? Hmm. Yeah, it broke. Terrific. Well, we got to fix that again. So it'll be these two right here. All right, well this solder is only a few days old, so it should come right off of there. this tool this came with uh, the Keychron keyboard that I use on my on my desktop and it did okay let's compare this to that they look like the same dang thing to me and the shank looks to be about the same too if we compare so there you are folks can't find any K-Pro parts. Apple II. For Apple II parts instead. Home. Now, Buggy said that he had owned these out and they were fine. I don't distrust the man or anything, but mistakes can happen. So let us do the same, huh? Yeah, makes a connection. Yes, sir. -y. Now, there's a little more length here, which means it would go further into the keycap, but the shank is the same. So, hopefully, this is going to work. put our nine back on and then make sure it actually ends up angled the same well by golly that looks fixed to me yeah let's solder it in Just like that, huh? This guy can go back over here. I 
get it back into the housing. So I can see and we can all see. Okay. Yeah, there it is. That's how it looks. Just like that. Let's put this part back. Nice. Just put that in there and lift it a little. missing any keys. How about that? Yeah, it did. Because so, um, the B drive's not working right now. Put games in here. 